Yo, what is up, boy? Game's there. The name is Second Heat, and unfortunately, I do not have my camera for today. I'm still charging the battery because I forgot to do it last night. But we're still gonna do the traditional style commentary that I used to do. So today's build, and by the way, how do you guys think about my new skyline? I just did it on my own. Didn't want to do a video on it because I've already built it. Just want to do my very own personal skyline. Just give you guys a quick look around. Looks hella nice, hella clean. This is pretty much how I would do my dream skyline. But this is not what today's video is on. Just going to give you guys a quick look around of this. And then we're going to get into the actual build. And that is the Lotus XCs. Now, I'm going to have to put one of these cars in my garage. I mean, in the warehouse. Sorry. So, I'll just put my GTR. You know, that thing is a beast. Um, then we're going to buy the Lotus XCs. And I've actually been wanting to do this for a while. I just... For some reason, just never got around to doing it yet, but we're finally doing it. And one of the things I want to see is how much can you for speed make us have this look like a Hennessy Venom? Now, for those guys that do not know, the Hennessy Venom is pretty much a more badass Lotus. So, and it's also one of the fastest cars in the world, probably still. I think this is. Let me let me Google what the Hennessy Venom fully looks like because I that's actually pretty good. That's not bad at all actually. Um, let me see, Hennessy Venom, the GT, and for those guys that do not know, apparently Hennessy Venom is having another car and it looks badass. Oh my goodness! So I got a picture of what the Hennessy Venom looks like. Got a nice black design and this might be as close as we can get. If I could remove those. Uh, little lights in the front that'll make it look even more like it. Let me see if we can get any front bumpers. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. The, f the hell? What the hell is that? Carbon deflectors. Why would you have that actually? That's actually a very interesting look. To be the kind of, ooh, ooh, oh my gosh. I like that a lot. Let me see. Hopefully we can put that on body. No, we cannot because this is a wide body, which technically the Hennessy Venom is a wide body. Yeah, this is actually, eh, this is probably as close as we can get to it. Oh, I'm definitely going to have to stance it out, lower this car, even though the Hennessy Venom doesn't look like it's stance life obviously and for some reason the wheel is now inside the fender which looks very and same to that part too holy crap we're definitely gonna need to be adding some camber just so it looks normal oh my goodness maybe even oh gosh that's a race is just a little bit so it actually looks normal Ooh, that was weird now for the rims i'm not sure if we actually have I think we have those rims in the game. Let me see. Um, it's still something like that, but less detailed. Um, is it like this? No, now it needs a little bit more. Uh, I wish I knew what the brand name of those were. Let's see what we can get. I no, no. It's not deep dish either. Which is unfortunate. I like deep dish rims. Let's see what we can get. I really want to try to get as close to this as I can. No. Actually, I'm pretty sure the RTRs might actually suit it. Ooh. It's very similar to this. At least the Google images that I'm looking at. It's very similar to this. There is another one with different rims that I can that I'm pretty sure I think I already saw but now nah, I want to go with this image this is somewhat similar just not deep dish although I I do like the deep dish a lot so if anything I might just go with that one but it is also a little something like this except less I think the words rigid if you got that right, um, that is pretty much a Mustang rim though. So I'm not gonna use that. I'm going to go with the deep dish. Was it this one, the SSR that I was just looking at? I'm pretty sure it probably was. If it wasn't, I might just go with that because SSRs are fantastic. 
And it looks like I'm going with the SSRs. Where are they? Let me go. Wait. Mm, was that the rim I was looking at? Holy crap. Wait. This one is the one I was looking at. Never mind. So we're going to black these things out. Probably give it a satin look. Because I really do like satin a lot. Or you can go with the mat. No, it looks like there's the logo. Uh... Shine to it. Wait, probably just give it that. Mm. Oh, freak. No, we're going to have to take the clear coat off and probably. That looks good enough for me. Unfortunately, though, I didn't. I did not get the back rims yet. We're gonna obviously put on some. Actually, let's not put on Toyota tires this time. We're gonna be a little different. Probably give us some. Pro could probably go with Speed Hunters, Hankook, Falcon, Kumo. Let's go with Speed Hunters regular. And I'm sorry if I'm sounding a little sniffly. I do have a cold. Again, for some reason, these past, this past, like, week has been very bad for me. I cannot see what kind of, oh, wait, it actually has different color calipers, actually. It has yellow. Only yellow ones we have here are stop tech, though. So, why not? We'll probably, it looks like it has D style, too. So, now we're definitely changing things up. Let's get the SSRs yet again. Hopefully get the right ones this time. It was this one I'm sure the MS ones. Should probably go and check. Oh yeah, I don't even think I increased the wheel size. So let's get the tires to again the speed hunter regulars. And then stop tech. Which is now the very first car that I actually used something besides Brembo, which kind of makes me sad. But whatever. Let's check to see if these are the right rims. We got the MS ones. Okay, good. Now we are going to increase the tire just a little bit more. And then put the paint on all rims. After this, uh, unfortunately though, it does have a... Uh, I do want to see what kind of wings we have though. If we have a bigger one. Ooh, oh my goodness. Please. Uh, the NEC Venom does not have this, but it is so badass that I have to do it. Making our own Hennessy Venom version, alright? Now, for the exhaust, wait, I just wanted to defuse this by accident, and that is the most beastly diffuser I have ever seen in my life and fuck it we are going to make our own version of the Hennessy Venom sorry but it has to be done now where's the exhaust here we are I can't even see what I'm looking at anymore because of how what the hell why would you have that that's just weird that looks big it's the regular three the three inch one that I'm normally used to getting uh that thing is inside the diffuser actually all these are inside the diffuser that's just oh my gosh this is the only one that's not inside the diffuser but that just looks so sick like it's literally coming out of the diffuser it is ridiculous now we're gonna put what's the top what's the top speed it hit did it hit the 270s i think it hit 270 right um let's do a quick little check who makes any venom who owns it let's see uh hennessy venom's top speed it hits 270.49 miles per hour that is just insane like how do you do that? How do you go so fast? And apparently, now that the Bugatti, 
whatever the new Bugatti is, I'm not even going to try to pronounce its actual name. And why won't it let me do numbers? I'm pretty sure. Unless it was the period. No, it's the period. That's what it wouldn't let me do. So we're just going to put 270 miles per hour. But I don't understand. Especially when now the new Bugatti coming out. And then you have Hennessy Venom's newest car which it's actually rumored to be 290 miles per hour how the hell do you make a car so fast i don't understand but it's just ridiculous that such a car exists i am speechless whenever you just hear it like really 290 how is that even possible? Just how? Let's see if we can add anything else. We can... Uh, no, never mind. We cannot. Uh, for hoods, of course we can't. I just gotta black this thing out. Enough. Ooh, what kind of headlights do we get? Why would you have tape headlights? Uh, oh. My. Gosh. Oh, it's the intake light, too. Sorry, sniffing it yet again. Um, let's see, what's it, oh, okay, so the intake is actually on this side. I think we'll go with, wait, both of these are the same exact one, so I don't get the point. <clears throat> but we're actually going to go with the regular. Now that I look at it, it just looks kind of weird. It looks a lot better without that carbon fiber, which is weird for me to say. Jeez, I am sick as hell. Down here in Florida, it has been, like, raining a lot. And since I actually live, I mean, since I work outdoors, I'm constantly being exposed to this damn rain. So it's just annoying to deal with. Now, what is this? Oh, my goodness. That is just, whoa, what is this? People have gone all out with this car, it looks like. You know, that, and that's, that's pretty nice. Not bad. Eww, what were you trying to go for? I like this look a lot. I can't remember what this actually belonged to, but that is an actual known rap. I think that looks like the Hennessy Venom, actually. So, back to the picture, because we were supposed to try to make our own Hennessy Venom right here. Let's see what kind of color this thing had. So obviously it was in black. <clears throat> Doesn't have any decals or anything, so we're just gonna stay away from that. But again, sorry for my sniffling sickness. Now the clear coat looks to be on, <clears throat> but take out the smoothness. Mm, might need to just do it like that. But some smooth is it. There we go. Probably. I don't think it was. Com uh, because it's not like grayish. Probably like a satin. If anything. Um. Really trying to. Really trying to get this look right. My sniffling of sickness is disgusting. Now, see, it does have a clear coat. Sorry about that, was running out of time. Um. Oh, wait, we're getting, we're getting somewhere, actually. It looks like. Came out to be some, maybe make it a little bit darker. That looks to be just about right, actually. <laughs> Trying to get a side-by-side -side comparison. Let's see this picture. Yeah! It looks like we did it. This is the look of the Hennessy Venom. At least... Enough. I'm just going to share that so people can actually get it. 
Now, unfortunately, it did not have this kind of wide body. Of course, we're not going to get the exact look of a Hennessy Venom. But, for what we did, it's pretty close. This is as close as we're going to get to a Hennessy Venom right here, boys. Well, we are going to, if we did take out the wing, then, yeah. If we just gave it the stock wing that it had on, it would look more like it. And took out the diffuser. But, because we like big wings over here excuse me it was gonna stay on it has to stay on now performance wise I actually hope I have enough money even though I'm just at like 150 I hope I have enough money to fully max this thing out because I know the engine block <clears throat> and the turbo are gonna be crazy now this thing does have twin turbos I'm pretty sure isn't it like a twin turbo V8 I think I can't remember I know that thing is like just insane so let's try to get the fastest we can get. So that one has the fastest zero to sixty. That one has a faster zero to sixty. <clears throat> and it looks like we're gonna stick with that turbo right there. For the engine block oh wait no, not never mind, I thought we were at the engine block. Engine block is far from here. ECU. Here's the engine block. Looks like we're going to have enough money. Wow, only 209 so far. I really hope this thing at least it's over. It's going to hit over 230. <clears throat> Is it? It seems to be just under. Oh my goodness. We couldn't hit two, 230? That's a disappointment, honestly. <clears throat> it really is. I really thought this thing would hit. Wow. But hopefully, because this car is supposed to be like extremely lightweight. I'm going to put max grip tires on it. This car is supposed to be like extremely lightweight though. So. This thing should still fly. However. Trying to look at these stats here. I don't think this is better than my Civic. I don't think so. Eh. Wow. We were left at just under, just under 8,000. So. For the tuned. I've been starting to do like a lot of just balance, like not even messing with the tire pressure anymore. Simply because it's perfect where it is. We are going to open the diff because this is going to be a grip. Max out this, well not max out the downforce, but get a lot of downforce and a lot of handbrake strength and of course power nitrous. Let's see how this beast can drive over at the drag strip. Run the tunnel, I believe it's called, or speed tunnel. Let me see what it's called. Speed tunnel. Got a got a second try. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad. Ew, my my sickness. Oh gosh. Wait, I have some water right here. Let me see if this will help. All right. So, let me see if this thing will actually beat the Civic. And wow, this thing looks. Bad ass. So let me see what the Civic time ran. I do so believe it was 28 seconds flat. Which no car yet, besides the hot rod, has actually beaten that time. Wow, this thing sounds beastly too. That should have been perfect. I saw all those lights blink up. Wow, this is real fast. Already in seventh gear, that is crazy. I was legit trying to turn as hard as I could, and I couldn't freaking turn. It's that downforce? Holy crap. And we're already we're still in eighth. Oh my goodness. How fast could this thing go, actually? Wow, even with that, we still maxed out on top speed. I need to see it. Holy crap, wait. I gotta do a rerun of that? Because I did crash. But that was ridiculous. 
Although it couldn't turn because of all that downforce. I have so much downforce that this thing literally did not want to turn. That's that's insane. <laughs> that's crazy. <clears throat> all that being a front front end now. Jeez. <laughs> Where's the AI? Who knows? It's probably under the bridge. Oh, thank goodness we got perfect. Got an awesome from the straight, bro. The moment it begins, you gotta knock that thing. All right, let's see if it turns. Hopefully, nothing gets in my way. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm gonna have to decrease that downforce just a little bit. But wow, this thing is flying. We are at 223. And no, we could not beat the Civic. But I think, <clears throat> I think part of that is just because we hit that wall because I have so much downforce that this thing cannot turn at least properly so what we're gonna do is head back to the shop and decrease that downforce just a tiny bit maybe just like one or two and then we're gonna get a rerun hopefully hopefully we will be hitting 28 seconds flat it's ridiculous that these Civic is my fastest freaking car. I don't understand how something so low end is capable of defeating so many of these high end rides. Even the hot rod, bro, even the most expensive car in the game, the hot rod, the Civic has actually beaten, at least drag time wise. It, can, it cannot beat it <clears throat> in these circuits. But in drag speed, in the drag race, it will win. It's the power of the beat tech. There we are, perfect there. Hopefully, we should be able to get a clean run. My goodness, bro, this thing still can't turn. What? Why is this thing struggling to turn? Oh my goodness. Jeez, we maxed out in eighth gear. 275. We can beat it. We just need to turn. Maybe it's not my downforce. Maybe it's not the downforce. What's causing it to just not turn? Is it my tire pressure? <clears throat> Maybe it's the tire pressure. I don't think it would be. Let's lessen that up a little. Uh, sear range. It's probably the reason. Okay. Third time's a charm. Let's get it. I'm so glad that they actually added in these drag racing events. Holy crap, it's like such a life changer. I wonder if they're gonna do an update soon, actually. Checking the site right now while I wait. Nope, I don't see anything yet. That's disappointing. I really hope they do. I really wanna see more cars being added, actually. All right, third time to charm. Let's see if we can finally beat the speed tunnel. Okay, 
another perfect. We can get the burnouts well. We just need a turn. Alright, let's see if it will do it. Please, 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 please. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. Alright, now we should be able to do well after all this. Come on, please. Clean run. In the apex. Here we go. Oh, I think we did it. Oh my goodness. 28 seconds flat just like the Civic. Unbe freaking leaveable. So, at least the Civic does not take the crown. Nor does the Lotus. Hashtag Hennessy Venom. Damn. Why is that Civic so fast? Jeez. That is just crazy, man. I need a car that can actually beat it. Yes, the Hot Rod did beat it later on. After I like did so many runs with it, trying to get faster. But it was just by such little time that it's hard to really count it. Well, it's hard to really give it the win. So that is just straight up ridiculous. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, comment on, you know, what is your favorite car? And do you think that I should stop playing Need for Speed because I suck at freaking driving. Oh my goodness. R.I.P. To the Hennessy Venom. Do you like the Hennessy Venom? Comment that. Do you like the Hennessy Venom? Or do you think that the Bugatti is still the better car? In my opinion, I kind of like the Hennessy Venom more. Yes, the Bugatti is beautiful. But the Hennessy Venom being that it's also a Lotus and Seize technically. I really do like the Lotus. It's lightweight as hell and it doesn't need as much power as the other supercars to keep up just because of that and it's fast as hell maybe not this one compared to the Hennessy Venom but it's not a Hennessy Venom so just maxing out 8th gear going 223 miles per hour fast beast that for some reason the Civic can keep up with it what do you think can beat the Civic? Please tell me in the comments down below. Until next time, this has been your boy Taking Heat, and I'm out. Peace.